Hey everybody, so I'm out here in the garage, and I was going to do, for the fire of Friday, I got some, uh, some decorative nautical rope that I was going to make a bird's nest out of. And got over here, started going through all my stuff, and I realized that I left my little tin that has my char cloth in it over at the old house. So, not to disappoint everybody, I still want to try flint and steel, but... I'm gonna use is one of these cotton ball infused uh, fire starters from uh, Mr. Outdoorsy, the black and white fire starters. I won a giveaway from D over at Native Tears a while back, and uh, I won that one of the little uh, kit and stuff. And this is one of the things that comes in it, and while normally, if I am in a base camp scenario or something like that, I like the Insta Fire fire starting. Uh, the black and white fire starter stuff comes in handy for when you're hiking, when you want it in your day bag or something like that, because you can use a little thing just like this, and in theory, you'll be able to get a spark. I mean, you'll be able to get a fire. What I'm going to do is, I have no idea if this is the way it's supposed to do. That's the way I like to roll sometimes, is give it a shot and see what happens. With char cloth, based on everybody's uh, information and stuff like that, you want to lay it on top of your flint. And so I am going to poof this out, because with a cotton ball, you want to have it nice and poof, because you want more surface area to catch a spark. I am going to attempt to give this a shot and see if it'll work. No idea if it's going to work or not. Thought I'd bring you guys along to see. So here we go. It's way harder than it looks. Now I'm going to try it underneath. Because when I'm doing the sparks, and I might be doing it wrong, it's shooting the sparks down. So I'm wondering if maybe it can catch in there. And he's networking. Let's try a different angle. Ooh. I am definitely not a flint and steel expert. Everybody says 45 degrees. I'm getting the sparks, but just none of them are catching on here. So, you know, it is what it is. But because this is Friday, and we always gotta have some sort of how you like my messy uh, my messy desk here. And to show how these uh, fire starters work, uh, let's see, what do I got laying around here? All my ferro rods and stuff like that are inside. So what I'll use is, I got these off of, uh, I think it was off Wish, and they're like the uh, everlasting fire starters or blast matches or whatever you want to call them you know you get what you get you get what you pay for with these things they're like a dollar I think for like two so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to try the same principle there's no fluid in this so this is completely dry but I wonder if I can strike it along the the ferro rod that's in here this a little closer a little more light there's a ferro rod uh, in here flint and see if it'll strike on it. Ooh, yep. Ooh, hot. <laughs> so, it is a Fire It Up Friday. Uh, wax infused cotton ball. And so, just wanted to add this in real quick. There's a pretty good little breeze going on right now. And as you can see, that cotton ball is going real good. It's been going now for about, I don't know, two minutes. 
probably easily got another minute or so on it. They uh, definitely are good at uh, staying lit even in uh, windy conditions and stuff like that. It did not work with the flint and steel. Like I said, I didn't expect it to. It doesn't put off enough sparks uh, to catch it. But using this little thing, it did. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd just bring you guys along. Talk to you guys later on.